Hi, I'm Kerry Decker, and today we're going to take a look at another video camcorder that I think you're going to find very interesting. It's the PXL 2000 video camera called the Pixel 2000, and it's unusual in, in many respects, and not the least of all is the fact it records video on audio cassettes. Wow, that's something different. So stick around for the next few minutes, and we'll take a look at this very unusual camera. Hi there, Kerry Decker here again, and uh, I have got something interesting to show you. Uh, this is a most unusual uh, video camcorder that was made by Fisher Price back in the very early 1980s, and it's the model PXL 2000. Some people call it the Pixel 2000 camcorder, and uh, this was a great little camcorder that sold for $99. It's hard to believe. And with a color viewfinder as well. That's amazing. And uh, it's very, very unusual. It's long gone, but uh, I happened to buy one of these. Actually, I bought it for my kids because it was sold as a toy camcorder. And uh, it's amazing. First of all, I've got to explain to you about the fact with the color viewfinder. I thought, man, I, even my my Betacam at the, at the time didn't have a color viewfinder, but uh, when you look through here, you, you discover it's just airspace with a piece of plastic at the front and the back. Yeah, sure, it's it's color because you're looking through and and looking at uh, it, it just air. There's no electronics at, at all, so naturally it's got a color viewfinder. But it recorded in black and white and um, uh, no zoom lens, just a fixed lens and a. <laughs> kind of manual exposure thing. Just uh, you turn the lens back and forth and uh, it either was for indoors or outdoors and they did that. Uh, I'll show you a close-up in a moment here uh, by putting a little uh, tinted silvery piece of uh, foil <laughs> in front of the lens just like a pair of sunglasses and uh, that was your exposure. There's your microphone right on the front. And uh, it's very, very lightweight, rubber eye cup up here, and uh, reminds me very much of the 8mm camcorders, uh, or movie cameras, I should say, the sound movie cameras that Kodak put out uh, in the late 1970s. But um, it's great. It's got a stop and start button on the back. Your battery compartment is in on the bottom. And um, it was just very simple to hold up to your eye and stop and start. No focusing. It was a fixed focus camera. So there was no focusing. You had a viewfinder to see what you were doing. And the only setting you had to make was indoor or outdoor. So it made it real simple. And of course, the fact that it used audio cassettes. Now, this is interesting. Uh, I don't know all the electronics involved about it, but, but basically, uh, I, I know that the tape to head speed has to be very rapid and on all current model um, cameras and VCRs and, and, and equipment of that type they achieve this by having the tape go through at a certain speed but the the head is revolving at a very rapid rate so it's giving the apparent speed of going much faster than it actually is, is going through there. However the very first video recorders uh, used a stationary head and the tape flew through it at an incredible rate so it would raise the frequency so it would be enough to uh, record video and that's what they did with this um, audio cassette. Uh, it is a 60 minute um, audio cassette but if I recall correctly it was only about 11 or 12 minutes of video that you could get off of it. It was two-sided you could record video on both sides but uh, the tape really whizzed through there for just a, a few moments to uh, get that frequency up there. Also, you could buy some models of this camera with an enclosed monitor. Uh, actually, what it was was a little 5-inch television set. And uh, you could play back your tapes on that. Great for kids and everything. And I thought, well, gosh, a little TV set, you know, that's no good. So I remember playing this thing back through my standard television set and it still put out a little tiny picture uh, surrounded by gigantic areas of black. Um, the resolution on this was very low. So about a, a four or five inch wide picture was all the enlargement it could stand because of the uh, low resolution of it. But you had 
sound and picture and uh, hey for kids you know that uh, was built simply and, and it used audio cassettes hey why not so uh, it's a it's a cool camera uh, and these things are scarce as could be anymore I've uh, had this this one tucked away uh, for what uh, 26 years and uh, everything and in fact I bought mine I got a carrying case here with it one of their their own cases it says pixel 2000 uh, on it and like this RF converter that would plug into the back of the camera on one side and then fit to your television set uh, on the other those uh, those old analog TV sets and then you could switch it back and forth between like on and off or bypass or whatever so you could uh, watch your videos back on on the TV set and I have got a whole host of uh, cassettes of videos from the 1980s I'm um, looking here, it says Christmas 1988. There's um, another one. Uh, it has my daughter and myself, uh, January 29th, 1989. And unfortunately, when I went to, I was going to include a sample on here. And I believe there are some samples here on YouTube that, of, of this camera. But however, uh, I was reading the fact that, well, the drive belts dry out and everything, and uh, it's hard to play them back and whatnot. And I said, well, gosh, it worked perfectly the last time I used it, uh, 10, 15 years ago. And I plugged this in because I was going to dub over uh, some video so you could see exactly what it looked like. And that's right, the belts are dried out in here. And it just came on and it just sat and I could never get it into the play position. So if I'm able to do that in the future, I will update this video so you can see some of my uh, old 1988 and 89 tapes. But uh, unfortunately, at this time, I'm not able to do it. But anyway, let's, uh, let's take a little closer look at some of the controls on this uh, great old um, Fisher-Price uh, Pixel 2000 video camera. Let's take a look. And uh, there's a set of playback buttons along the bottom, very similar to like an audio recorder. Starts off with a record, play, rewind, and your stop and eject button. And uh, you just push those back. The uh, batteries fit in on the bottom. Let me um, hit the stop and eject here. There it goes. It just pops up again. It was just like an audio uh, recorder in the way it worked. And you just put in your tape like that. You do put it in. Do I have it in right? No. Got it in that way. There we go. It's been a while. Okay. Fits in that way. And there you go. You just press it down and your audio cassette is loaded in there. There's a little window so you can uh, see what you've got uh, in there. And uh, it makes it really cool. Let me show you up front that, uh, that lens that I was telling you about. Okay. See? There's the lens. And notice how... See? It reveals the full sensor. That was for low light. And then you turn it around uh, this way. And it covers it with this uh, silvery reflective material. There you go. See, it's like a little mirror. A little one-way uh, mirror. And uh, that would shield it a little bit for your outdoor shooting. And it had a little thing on the side here which showed you... It's got a little thing on the side there which shows you... Uh, you know what uh, position it's in. The microphone is like shock mounted, which made it nice. See, you can it, it's on a rubber stopper like that, so it would uh, wouldn't pick up so much vibration. And of course, your color viewfinder that you can see, <laughs> of course, it's color. <laughs> see, you're just looking right through the airspace of the camera, so that uh, made it kind of cool. There's uh, from the other side, and there is the camera there. There is the backup for with the uh, RCA plug and the AC. And there is the record and stop button on the back. Okay, on the bottom, there's where your AA batteries went in. Okay, takes four AA's. And I had it on a little rubber thing here so the kids wouldn't lose the battery cover. <laughs> they broke it off. Okay, well, that's it. That's a look at this great old camera from the 1980s by Fisher Price. I see it's a model 3300 right here, and it's the Pixel 2000 video cam which used audio cassettes. Okay, I hope you look back at this rare and unusual camera. So, this is Kerry Decker. Thank you for your time this time. Until next time, 
We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye now.